you. NASA scientists say that in the 2030s, Earth is going to see the effects of the so-called moon wobble, a phenomenon that is expected to cause severe high tide flooding. Our Michael Gibson joins us with more on that story as it relates to our own Bayfront and Gulf Coast beaches. Michael? Well, researchers say it's clear that climate change is causing our oceans to rise. Combine that with that moon wobble and experts expect the result to be record breaking high tide flooding and that has our local officials ready to actually act. We're taking it real seriously and we'll have our professional teams review it and see what impact would it have to our bays and coastline and, and adjust accordingly. Corpus Christi City Manager Peter Zanoni is talking about the so-called wobble in the moon's orbit that's expected to cause severe flooding by the mid 2030s. A new NASA study says rising sea levels due to climate change will cause extreme high tide flooding as the moon enters a certain lunar orbit. We've already had some higher than normal tides here uh, along the bayfront and especially Padre Island. It, it has impacted Padre Island probably more than anywhere else. City Councilman Mike Pusley pointed out that the city's already seen changes in our tidal wave action and is ready to spend money to keep our beaches intact. Uh, we're going to do some beach replenishment projects here in the very near future uh, to help raise the beaches and, and uh, help with that situation. So we are cognizant of it and, and we will take the necessary steps we have to to correct whatever problems that arise. One of the spots where flooding and erosion are always a problem is along North Beach. That's why Councilman Roland Barrera is calling for some type of breaker system. I think we really need to take a take a step back and really look at funding those breakers before anything else so that way that high tide is not coming in. Now, Dr. James Jabot is the expert over at the Heart Research Institute, and his specialty is ocean levels and tidal action. He says that wobble effect will produce higher high tides, but that sea level rise alone is going to cause more problems for us over the years.